In this tutorial, we'll see how we can build a calendar uh, like this one, uh, where you can select any day that you like. And when you are in a current week, that will highlight this week in a different color and today's date as well in a stronger color. And we will also show you how you can have a specific dates highlighted on this calendar. And then we will move on quickly on how to extend this for a full year. So now this is what we are trying to achieve. Uh, let's start from scratch. Um, I will just build one first and after, you know, I'll show you quickly how you can duplicate that uh, to have a full year ahead of you. Now, uh, what I need is a date and a month. I'm just going to put actually July 2025 and this will be my starting point. I don't want to be limited to have to start on, the, on January. So I'm just going to put that on the side and I'm going to reproduce this uh, by referring directly to the sales here. Uh, I'll show you why later on you need to duplicate this. So we have, uh, we want to start at by building a date. So I want to build a date uh, based on this month and I want to build the first day of the month. So there is an Excel function actually, it's called the date function and it's called the date function. And what you need to do, you need to give the year, the month and the day. So I have the year here. I have the month here and a day, as mentioned. I just want to have the first day, so I put one. And I'm, I'm going to use another Excel function that is called weekday. And I'm just going to show you here, weekday. And that will give me, if you refer to a date, that will give me the, the day of the week on a number format. Now, I have some... Uh, there's always some, you know, queries about, you know, which uh, day should the week start. And if you have a look at this, you realize this, uh, the countries in blue start on a Sunday, the one in green start on a Monday, and there's not a lot actually start on a Saturday. But here, for instance, uh, you notice that it's free. So if the first day of the week is a Sunday, so that must be two, uh, two is Monday and three is Tuesday. So I'm going to start putting a one here and I'm just going to say this is Sunday and then I'm just going to put two here and this is Monday and then I'm just going to try to see if Microsoft wants to help me with this okay it does it's done it okay okay I'm just going to center this a bit so why did I do this? And the reason I did this is we, the first thing that we need to want to put in our calendar is the first day of the month and we we need to check what is the day of the first day of the month so in order to do this, uh, I need to check uh, the 1st of July. I need to check which day it is, and we have a free here. And therefore, a free, we know it's a Tuesday. And therefore, I want to have the first day of the month here. And then I will put the second, three, four, five, this way. But this needs to be automated. So let's see how we can do that uh, using a formula. So here I've just tapped the formula, so I can explain, I can walk you through what I've done here. Uh, this is actually the most complicated of the formulas because this is just the first week. So let's see how it works. So I'm just checking if the first day of the month that we calculated here, so we know we, we are looking for a free, right? Remember, we are looking for Tuesday. I'm just checking the number that I have above, and this is why I had these numbers, but don't worry, we can hide them later on. I'm checking if this number here is a free. And if it is, I just can put the date and it will be this date here, the first day of the month. And if it's, if it's not, I check what's before. I check uh, if what is before is a, uh, is a date. Um, and if it's not, then actually I'm just going to put a blank here instead. If what is before is a blank, then I leave blank. But if there is a date, then I just add one to it. So if you want to pause and have a look at this. And here now... This is a moment of truth. If I drag this to the right, that's it. You can see that it works. But I've done something else here. I've also uh, formatted the cell uh, in such a way that uh, you, you see the days on the form two, uh, DD, which means you only see the day of the week. So you, you, this is actually a date. This is not a number. This is a date. Remember, we are just picking this. And if it's zero, then I've put the hash. So that will show you hash. But uh, in all the other scenarios, I will put uh, the day. So, so now if I continue, I'm just going to go to the next line and it's a little bit more straightforward. I know there is something here <laughs> because we are on the second line. So I just add one here to this and I'm just going to uh, do the left hand side first. And I'm just going to add one to the date to the left. And I'm just do this. So here it 
goes from 12 to 13 and then I can drag this all the way down. So worst case scenario here we're going to need this file length. So this is why there is an extra here. If the Monday is here then you're going to need to go all the way down to this one here. Okay, so here I can do some basic formatting for, for the time being. So now as you can see there is the, the, the following months that is showing here. I mean you might want to keep it but I think that looks a bit messy so we need to either grey it out as they do sometimes but what I want to do is I want to get rid of it completely. So we need to do some checks. I'm going to do that through conditional formatting otherwise the formula here is going to get a bit out of hand. So what do I need to do in this uh, formula here? I need to check if we are still in the same month. So I'm just going to check if the month uh, of that date, which is, uh, I'm going to take the first one here. I'm just going to make sure I remove all the dollars. So uh, will, uh, that means that I will be doing that for every cell in my selection. If the month is different from the month here, and I need to make sure this, on the other hand, is locked. This is the one I want to check. So if it's different from this, I'm just going to format it and I'm just going to put a white font here. So this way it will be there but hidden, if that makes sense. So that's it. There is something here but it is being white. So this is done. So we already have something here that, you know, if I change this, um, this is going into a different, uh, a different month already. Um, we can do a lot of tidying up. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to put the month at the top here. So I'm just going to select the first day, for instance. You'll see it, it won't matter as long as it's a day of the month. So I'm just going to merge and center all this. I'm going to put that at the top. And I'm just going to make it bigger. And then I'm going to choose a color. Uh, just to choose. And I'm going to go in the page layout and I'm going to select the office 2013, 2022, I think. And here I'm going to put some blue here. I'm just going to put this blue, for instance. And I'm going to make sure that I go with the white font. So now, uh, and actually, I've downloaded a new font recently that I really like. It's called the. Uh, the Bebas Nero. So if you want to download it, I suggest it. It's, uh, it looks quite good uh, with letters. We're not in letters yet. So if I right click on this and if I format that cell, I want to give it uh, just, I want to, I don't need to put the day obviously, but I want to put the month and the year. So to put the full month, I press M as you can see here. M, if I put M, that's just going to show six. If I do it three times, the first letter of the month, but I don't want that. I want the full month. So here I put, you know, four M's. I put a blank and I put after four Y so that's going to give me the full year as well. Press OK. Here you go. Actually, yeah. All right. So this is getting close. Now, what I want to do is I want to hide a few things here. So I'm just going to press insert insert and I'm going to move those to here. This I need to leave it here for the time being. I'm going to select those rows, those three rows. Uh, actually, yes, those three rows. I go under data. I'm going to group and there is a little uh, minus sign here and, and when I press it that hides. So this is what I wanted. So here I'm just going to put some bold, some uh, very fancy. I'm just going to remove the grid line. Here I want to put something a little bit uh, uh, a little bit significant. I like to put some pale white, uh, pale, pale yellow. Uh, I always does that to me. I always see the wrong colors when I do demos for some reason. Um, that's it. So if you want to be, I suppose, fancy, you can uh, put a selection screen here just in case you, you don't know how to do it. Data, data validation here and here you can uh, either put a list directly or you can refer to a source. But here I'm just going to uh, do it the, the lazy way. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. So now when you select you see only those. And here you could do the same. I'm going to show you uh, the other way for a change. Uh, 2025, assuming, I mean, uh, 
assuming you don't want to go any any uh, in back you could go back this is really optional i suppose of course you can uh, select the date directly and here where I, where I go just to show you just in case you don't and the source i'm just going to select this I press ok so now you you know you don't you don't have to use the keyboard you can use this directly and everything should change so here obviously you can do some fine tuning some uh, completely get rid of things if you like okay so here actually I, I wanted to have that a bit bigger and then I get this and I want to apply some pale blue but I'll review all the colors in the end to make sure that it's all good I wanted to highlight the the week we are in and also the day we are in so that's something that uh, that is relatively easy to do but I need to use conditional formatting so there's a the Excel function is, is, that is called today so this is uh, equal today and this gives you today's date so what I want to do is the first thing that is uh, easy to do is you, you, you create a new rule and you say use a formula and when the cell once again starting with the first one top left is equal to this date i could have input today directly here but actually i'm going to i'm going to do it now is equal to today and then then you can give the formatting value that you want and i'm going to go for a fill that i might change later on once again i'm just going to do put okay here now how does it work so this is where you need to go back here so now it does work but i'm on the wrong year so if i go on 2025 it, show, it shows it to me here okay and now to get the week that's a little bit more uh, complicated i suppose so in order to have the full week i've, I've typed the formula here and i can so that i can walk you through it you need to make sure that the on the row on the week here that uh, this is a smaller or equal to today's date and that on the the last one on the row here is greater or equal uh, than the today's date so this is how it translates you put an end function and you lock the g here to make sure that this this uh, doesn't go beyond that and then you lock the m here so if you are obviously in the same column here and then once you do this it should it should know that today's date is as this as a bookend if you like so this is a way to check bookends and then you put uh, different moms and obviously it doesn't show it so okay now what else so now to go to the to the next ones okay so this is a little bit in a way uh, let's put that here this should go here those two here it's a bit of tidying up and now what you need to do is you need to move forward to the next month and i'm just going to show uh, show you how it works um, based on the on the one i've, I've already built so there's a, a couple of things you need to do you just need to replicate everything and you need to change the conditional formatting as well so what i've done here as i've checked that uh, first of all we are not at the end of year so if we are on the end of year uh, on the previous one is that means this is 12 then you just need to add one to the year and then you start from uh, back to to one for the for the month and you just add one to the year here and then you do exactly the same process with this you you calculate the first day of the month and you you check where it is and then here you need to have a look through everything and and make sure that it all follows for the conditional formatting itself you need to make sure that you refer to this month here and it's to this day of the week here as well so it's just a matter of uh, going across and obviously when you come here you need to refer to the cell that is above here and the conditional formatting that we've done with today here nothing prevents you from doing it with just a date that you would input here you would input for instance uh, 19th of may here 19th of may 2025 and you would say uh, you have something to do let's say pay taxes and then you would go uh, you would select everything and you would put conditional formatting a new rule and the rule would be if if we are removing all the dollar values so if this cell here i'm going to manage to do it 
G14 is equal to this date here, then you can uh, put any coloring that you like and that should show up on the, on the calendar here. And then when you change this one, I'll say, well, actually, I'm going to give myself a bit more time. This moves to the 21st. So this is it for a quick demo on how to build um, a, a full-on uh, calendar.